Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're recreating um, Michelle Phan's diffused look mixed with a Hong Van Go tutorial that she did. So we're gonna try to keep the face really angelic and diffused and just try to make like a really nice, smoky, but very, very light eye. And let's get started and see what comes out of this because I'm nowhere near as talented as Hong Van Go and I will never be, but um, let's try it out. This is the face cuddle. I have tinted moisturizer underneath, but I think it's dried enough for me to add the face cuddle on top. Yeah, it's not coming off. Well, I have tinted sunscreen actually. Clean it out. And I love this face curl because I feel like it really, really helps with how the foundation glides onto the skin. It's really, really soft, very, very soft stick. It's like, I've tried tons of sticks. I have a video on that. I've tried, I've tried like 10 sticks and this one is one of the softest ones and I forgot to put it on the video, but it's really good. Now I'm gonna go in with the foundation, which is the Daydream Cushion Foundation in Purpose. This is the shade, and I'm not using the this little thing. I'm gonna be using my my regular sponge if I can find it. Oh, this always happens to me. It's here. Okay, I'm gonna be using my regular sponge, and she doesn't have a concealer yet. So I'll be using the Cosas Concealer. And the point of this look is not to look way too overdone. It's to look just like sultry, but soft, just like very innocent. Like it's a weird mix, you know? N not weird in a bad way, just like a weird mix of like, yes, I want to look kind of sexy, but I also want to look cute. So it's like a sexy and cute look. I think the foundation went on perfectly. I don't think I need too much more. My face is not acting out that much right now, so I don't think I need a lot of foundation, so that, that will be it with the foundation. It leaves a beautiful sheen on the skin. It's a very glowy foundation. It's beautiful. And now I'm gonna go in with my Cosas Concealer to lighten up some areas and to just cover up some areas. I never not do my concealer because I feel like it's what really makes the look just flawless, like the face look flawless. Oh, I forgot to add a little bit on my chin. And I'm not sure why makeup artists are adding a little bit of brown here. I know why. If they're trying to create a shade, just like the one you do underneath. Um, so if you create a shade, obviously it looks like the lip is lifted. But I don't think I really need it. So I want to work with my face and not add stuff that I don't really necessarily feel like I need. I want to see where my mirror is, just so that I can see up close what I'm doing. And um, I don't see a lot of Michelle fans like in cosmetics tutorials, you guys, but her brand is truly, truly beautiful. It's Her products are so top-notch, they're so perfected. They're so beautiful. It's it's like she you can tell she put a lot of work into them. You can really, really tell she put a lot of work into them. And I it's not like I was a fan of Michelle Fan before. I just now I I admire her so much because of the work she's done. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh powder to my brows so that the the brow stuff sticks to my powders. Instead of just removing the makeup, I'm just gonna add some powder on my brows. Oh, 
and now okay so we did foundation foundation goes away we did concealer concealer goes away uh, i have another little table full of stuff that i shouldn't be adding more stuff to it because it's all gonna fall over um okay so now we are gonna do um i think we're gonna keep going with complexion and then i'll do my brows we're gonna do um the so so soft uh sculpting bronzer oh i have it here opened i have two because it was so good that i was like i need two before this sell out and i'm not going all the way down like i usually do because we're not trying to look like the supermodel uh look but we are adding some here i think we're adding just right enough and on my nose my nose is like the hardest part i'm adding a little bit here and a little bit here and i'm just gonna blend that out with my fingers This is how I saw Michelle doing it. And I was like, okay, perfect. This looks super easy and easy for me to do. So perfect, no cis contour. It's not a strong contour and neither will, the face won't be strongly contoured either. It will just be very, very softly contoured so that it doesn't look flat. I want to give dimension to the face, but I don't want the face to look overdone. I want it to look, as I said at the beginning, just diffused. How are we looking? I think we're looking good. Now, um, onto the blush sticks. I have T. Oh no, Tara is a is a bronzer stick, so it's not a blush stick. I have two blush sticks, T and pearl T and baby, and I'm gonna use both of them. I'm using pearl T over here. Maybe a little bit over here. In here and I'm using baby more on the sides of my eyes like I mean not on the sides of my eyes closer to my eyes let's see how dark it is oh it is a little dark I thought it was gonna be like cherub that it was a little lighter but it's okay we're gonna mix this up and just because I want to use the powders as well so you guys get to see how the powders work as well so I don't want to add way too much blush in in cream in cream form so that I can add the powders and you can see how the powders work because the powders are also so beautiful. They have this very light sheen. It's not like glitter or anything. It's it's like a very light sheen of of like very thinly matte milled um glitter, of course. It is glitter, but it's very thinly milled. So it looks gorgeous. So now we have our blush and now we're gonna add powder blushes. I have here Clarity, which is a highlighter. So I have, for the blushes, I have Baroque and Venetian Rose. So I'm gonna use Venetian Rose first. When I feel like I add a little bit too much, I go straight to the other side, just so that I don't keep adding to the same to the same side, you know. And now I'm adding a little bit of baroque. Baroque is a much lighter shade, so I'm not really scared of this one, but it still does give you quite a pigmented look closing my eyes i don't think i'm gonna use the bronzer maybe i'll use the bronzer a little bit because i do have the bronzer the sculpting bronzing powder 
I have it right here. So I think I might just use a little bit because that's how Hong Van Gogh did it. He did add some powder. He said he never lets his models out without powder, without a bronzing powder. And I usually never go out without a bronzing powder. Like if I'm doing my makeup, I always add a bronzing powder. And I don't want this area to be so light compared to the rest of my face. All right. So what do you guys think? Is it looking like diffused? I think it's looking diffused. I don't think it's looking very powdery or anything. I mean, not, not very strong or anything. I think it's looking diffused. So now I'm just gonna set my face with my Kosa Set Powder, which will diffuse even more. Sides over the nose. I don't do the top of the nose because that's where we're adding the highlighter. And Michelle said to add highlighter right here so that it looks like you don't have a flat forehead because she says she doesn't like her flat forehead. But I've never thought about my flat forehead before, so I don't really care about my flat forehead. So uh, we're gonna go in with a Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter. I don't think I've used it right. No, I haven't. Okay, so there's the applicator. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna add it like this, and then I'm gonna diffuse it. All the way up to my brow bone. And really a lot on right here on the top of the cheekbone. Because it is diffused, but we're also keeping it very, very angelic. And I think highlighter makes the face look very angelic. So it's all diffused now. I'm gonna add a little bit to, I don't know if I should add the um, highlighter that's um, in powder form. It might be better for that. Let's see. What kind of contortion am I doing here? Why can't I just like hold it like this? <laughs> I'm always doing my little weird things. I'm con concentrating it mostly on the tip. And I'm gonna do my Cupid's bow. I never miss my Cupid's bow. I love my Cupid's bow with some highlighter. And I'm gonna do a little bit of this on my brow bone as well. Perfect. So we're done with this. And we're done with this one. Where's the little sponge of this one? Oh no. Oh, it's in here. So we're done with this one as well. And now, uh, we did the, the blush sticks. I feel like my face is looking too warm. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit of concealer 
to lighten it up a little bit and add some light to the face. Because, yeah, if you're using, I, I, I'm trying to use as many products as possible. So if I'm using um, the contour stick and then the bronzer and then the blushes and all of that, it's obvious that it's going to end up looking darker than if I didn't. But see, you can just lighten up your face pretty quickly with just adding concealer. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of more, uh, a little bit of a touch of rosiness over there. Going down the sides of my nose. And for the rosiness, I wanna add, not not this one, I wanna add this one. Actually, I'm gonna add, um, is Baroque a good idea? I don't know if it's too tan. Yeah, Baroque is too tan. So I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. Is this this is Venetian rose? So I'm going in with Venetian rose to the top of my cheekbones all the way up here, and I'm even gonna add a lot of a little bit of Venetian rose to my eyelids. There we go. I feel like we brought some blush, some flush back to the face with that Venetian rose. I think it looks cute. I'm gonna add a tiny bit on the nose and a tiny bit right here. So now the face looks more diffused, even though we added more product, it looks more diffused. Now on to the complicated part. Wait, I have a, the Heaven's Globe Radiant Veil Blush in Cherub. In Cherub, is that how you say it? Cherub? Let's see. Oh, well, this is very pink. I'm gonna try to add a little bit of this. That's it. Not too much, because I don't want to end up having to go back and adding more concealer and, you know, the whole shebang. I have the color serum drops, but we'll try them out another time. I do feel like I need more setting powder. Um, around this area. I don't know if the Kosa setting powder is strong enough to work with so many cream products. It should be because Kosa uses a lot of cream products. So it should be strong enough to hold, to hold the cream products that I'm using. Okay, perfect. So now before I do my lashes, I want to do my brows. And I am using their, their stick, but their brow stick. But I might end up using 
my she glam pencil because this is in the shade soft taupe and i feel like i needed like the dark taupe so let's see it depends on what the brows end up looking like yeah because this is probably way too light unless i want to go with the really really light eyebrows Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more of another color to give it some more dimension. But I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to use this pencil. It's a very thin tip and it's really, really good. Very good. As soon as I get to Miami, I'm buying some more um, cosmetic stuff that just came out. They have this beautiful plush pillow and this um, eye masks. I hope they're not limited edition, but I'm waiting until I get to Miami because the shipping was over $30, which I thought was insane, which I've paid before. And I'm like, I'm not doing that anymore because it's just too much. I paid crazy amounts of shippings and I'm not doing that anymore. I could leave my eyebrows like this, technically, but I do feel like I do need a little bit more. Okay. Oh, my brows look quite different, like one from the other. I know they're not supposed to be twins. They're supposed to be sisters, but not far away from cousins. Okay, I think now they're looking a little bit more similar. And I'm gonna brush them just to make them a little lighter because as we're say as we're doing the diffused look, I do want them to be a little lighter. I just wanted to add some dimension to the brow. So I am um, brushing it so that it's a little lighter. I'm pretty much almost removing all the product. And now I'm gonna go with the eyebrow setter. This is, this is in the shade Taupe, Universal Taupe. And I have three of these, I'm not sure why. Maybe I thought it was really good and I bought three. But this is a very skinny pencil, it's really good. And the shade is perfect for me. Okay. I feel like there's like a little hole to peel in right there. the other side. Okay. I feel like this eyebrow goes a lot deeper in. Let me do some little strokes that are a little higher. 
it said to feel like it's going a lot deeper. Let me go like this. There we go. Okay. So now on to the eyes. For the eyes, I am using the uh, Rodin palette, which is one of my favorites. I have three palettes, and this one is one of my favorites. As you can see, I've used it before. Um, it's my favorite shades, you know, like brownie shades, and just like very muted, very native to to my skin tone, not to my skin tone, but to my look, to, to what I look for in makeup. So I'm gonna use first this, I never do this, but I'm gonna line my eyes with this Paradise Liner. I don't even know how to do it, you guys. Let me see. Can you tell the difference from one eye to the other? Yes, I think you can. And I even extended it up a little bit. Which I'll diffuse later on. Now this eye is gonna be harder. It's harder because I'm like, I have no idea why it's harder, but it's definitely harder. Do it to the little wing, right? There we go. So we're gonna diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. We're gonna diffuse the little wing. out and out so this one looks a little exaggerated so I'm just gonna clean it up with my finger oh no my nose my nose my nose it's starting Okay, so now let's start with the palette. I'm gonna start with the lightest shade and apply it all over the lid. Oh no, my nose. Okay, so it's applied all over the lid. And then I'm gonna use the darker one, just a little bit here. I don't want too much darkness in my eyes. I'm going more for like the the glossy the glossy eye look, which I have the shades that are perfect for that. But I am gonna underline my under eye with a bronzy tone. So it's those wonders. I'm gonna mix it because it's, uh, it's, oh no, I'll use this one. I'm 
Okay. See how much bigger it makes your eyes look? Just instantly. Oh no, my nose. Sorry, you guys. Allergies or I don't know the makeup causes me allergies or what it is, but whenever I start filming, it always happens to me. I'm gonna add right now that I'm looking at it, a little bit of concealer right here, right here. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So you can see, you can just keep adding, retracting, keep just, you don't need to follow a guideline. You can just keep going however you want and just keep playing with it. I'm gonna add um, a shimmery shadow that I might just regret because it's very shimmery and it's darker than I thought it would be. So the makeup might not look so diffused. Okay, so I'm also gonna tap it right here because I don't want it too in there. I just want it right here. I want it right here. Okay. And now, for La Pièce de Resistance, I have these two eyeshadows, and I think I'm gonna go with the pink. This is the Dewy Eyeshadow in Venus. So I hope it is as dewy as it claims to be. It does look dewy. It doesn't look glossy, but it looks dewy. It definitely looks dewy. Let's do the other eye. So I think my eyes are diffused enough. I don't think I need to add any more makeup i actually think i just need to blend out more so that it's more diffused Okay, perfect. Is it looking perfect? I think it's looking good. Yeah, it's looking good. It's not perfect, definitely not perfect. But once again, I'm gonna add more blush because the blush um, as the more you start adding bronzer, uh, the more you start adding stuff to your eyes, the blush starts to fade in the back. So I always like to add more blush in the end.
Why should we call this look, you guys? Because I don't know if it's like angelic makeup or diffused. It's a diffused makeup look. And I know Michelle Fan has a diffused makeup look, so it's not like I'm trying to copy her, but I am copying kind of like her skills. So I don't think there's an issue if I name it the same way she did because I'm inspired by her. Like this is an inspiration by her. So I don't think she'll be offended or she'll watch my video. <laughs> Let me want to tap, tap, tap and make sure that everything is really well blended. I'm gonna make my nose a little bit smaller. Oh, no. A little bit smaller in the front. I don't know if I made it look smaller or bigger, but we'll do with that. Perfect. Okay. All right, so what are we missing? I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer right here because it came off with my nose bleeds. Don't worry, that's a personal concealer. I have another concealer for when I do makeup for other people. I have my box of my makeup and then I have the rest of the makeup for <clears throat> for when I do makeup on other people. If I ever do makeup on other people. I don't do it a lot. Um, okay, so now should we add more should we add more highlighter? Maybe this is a right on the blush. Heaven's Blow blush. Blush. Where's the highlighter? Here's the highlighter. Let's have a little bit of highlighter. Once again, a touch of this. You just start building, building, building up the face until you're happy with your results. Now, I'm gonna use my mascara, which is a tubing mascara, and those are my favorite kinds of mascaras. I'm gonna curl my lashes pretty quickly because it really doesn't matter if I curl them or not, they always end up looking the same. All right, let's see. Please be nice to me and don't get all over my eyes. Okay. One coat. It's getting a little bit on my eyes, on my eyelids, but not as bad as uh, other mascara, so it's fine. I'll just clean it up very easily.
There we go. And now for the lips. Lips are very, very important here. I think any look without the lips is not finished. The lips just give it the final touch of like, you can ruin a look if you ruin the lips and you can make it look, look flawless if you do the right lip. And I have all the shades in the new formula that they have for their, I think I'm gonna go with Whisper. For in the new formula that they have for their, what is it called? Soft Spoken Velvet Cream and these are incredible, you guys. They are literally like you're adding like a soft baby butt on your cheeks, on your on your lips. Like it's it's like between powdery and, and creamy and it doesn't accentuate lines. It's really, really good. I'm gonna line my lips a little bit. Where's my, here we go. I'm not gonna overline my lips. Now, we're going with this soft velvet cream. Let's see if this is the right shade. No. I'm not very happy with this shade. Let's add another shade that's a little bit darker. Petal, I think petal will be fine. But it's so smooth. She said it feels like a finger applying it to your to your to your lips, and it's so true. It does feel like a finger, and it doesn't accentuate lines or anything at all on your lips. Okay, so since I said diffused look, I think, I don't know if I should add a gloss or not, but maybe we should add some gloss and try it out for the first time because I haven't tried this gloss. Oh, it's a pink blush, gloss. Let me see, let me see if this is gonna work. No, this is not gonna work. I thought it was gonna be a clear gloss and it's not gonna work at all. So we're sticking to the matte lips. So now I'm just gonna spray my face. That's my, here we go. Oh, my shit's plus. So this is the diffused makeup look, you guys, that is very wet, but it will dry down in a second. And I hope you like it. I hope you realize how easy it is to make, to create it once you see all the mistakes that I made. And once you see like how I fix them, you can just not create the same mistakes that I did. It's just like whenever you're creating a look for the first time, it's normal to create mistakes because you don't know how how to go around it, you know? But like right now, I think it looks perfect. It looks flawless. And this, I hope it dries out. Let me add a little bit of powder. Yeah, and this.
perfect you guys so this is my diffused makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this video with me and had a good time and i really uh hope you guys subscribe to my channel leave a comment have uh something to say to me maybe um let me know what you want to see next let me know if you're interested in a brand review or anything you want to post in the comments i don't get a lot of comments so i will definitely respond to your comments so um it would be really nice if you leave a comment for me to have an idea of what you guys want um I'm fix still fixing it just so that I can take the pictures. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate, appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Thank you for supporting me because without you guys, I would have stopped doing this a while ago. And I just have a, like almost a year doing this and it's sometimes it's discouraging to see that you're not growing but i'm gonna keep going at it and see how things go and just make my best effort to bring the best content that i can to you guys so thank you all for being here i love you so much take care and i'll see you tomorrow bye